Okay, so let's zoom in. Alright. So as you can see, as my phone goes off, I ended up installing not all but most of the apps on uh, the S2, which is pretty cool. Let's see if I can get this in a little light a little better. Uh, if you notice, what I like about the uh, Android 4.04 uh, from the last video, you saw that it, it was upgrading itself, and it didn't upgrade like this. But um, in terms of the uh, the layout, the dock, what you see right here, um, it, it pretty much did upgrade, update itself. What I did, uh, if, in case you're wondering, like what the hell, how did he get? There's an app right now called Galaxy S3 uh, with a dandelion, um, and it gives you that live wallpaper screen in the back. Just like the S3. Um, I figured uh, you can't do the lock screen, unfortunately. At least not that I can think of off the top of my head. Again, I just got this phone, so I'm you know, messing around with it. Uh, but I did find out that you can change the, uh, the lock screen. So right now, my lock screen is set to, I believe, this background. which shows the date and time. Um, it doesn't come like that when you first take the phone out the box. Uh, let me see what I can get into. When you first, actually, let me go back to that. When you first hit your applications, or I'm sorry, the 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 app a button in order to see all the applications and, and widgets. In 4.4, you notice that apps are here, widgets are here. So, what kind of I don't know what kind of sucks in my opinion is that you can't just go to the home screen anymore. If you hold it down. Remember, you had that option with widgets and et cetera, et cetera. You don't have that option. You just have the gallery, your IDL wallpapers, live wallpapers, well, like, you know, wallpaper galleries, wallpaper uh, balloons uh, <laughs> with, with, this, uh, with the background. Uh, if you also notice, is that the Google search field, excuse me, the Google search field never changes. It's going to stay there. So you can, somebody just watch the other YouTube video, which is pretty cool. Um, and as you can see, right now it's charging, so it, it's, it's, I haven't found a way so far to change the LED light from red to green to pink uh, to whatever you guys want to customize it to. Again, not yet. We're just going over the basic features and noticeable changes that um, I've seen with this phone. It can do, it can do, it, it does, I'm sorry, do snapshot. I'm going to see if I can do snapshot with one hand. Okay, so it does do screenshots. I just took one. What the hell am I doing? There I am. And you see screenshot captured. So, it, oh, another thing I thought that was pretty cool, what they did with 4.4, is that drop down menu. Um, instead of the dock being on the, um, the, the, the phone itself, it's right there. You know, your Bluetooth, GPS, 4G. Actually, I do have 4G coverage around here. Did I hit that? No, I did not hit it. Yeah, let me turn Wi-Fi off. It's telling me to do. And I'll turn 4G on and show you. I do have 4G coverage around here. Again, I live in a metropolitan area. 4G is a little spotty everywhere else. Yada, yada, yada. But I just want to show you. So if I... There we go. It's negotiating. I'll do the speed test in one minute. I also wanted to show you one quick thing. Grouping. I showed you in my, my, my HTC video that you can also group applications together. So it's the same thing. It's just, it's just a, the appearance is different. That's all. You can still group things together, you know, put all the apps together. Uh, of course, you can change the name of your group to whatever you want it to be. Um, I'm just showing you how I did it. And, oh, what I like about this, actually, before I get into the nitty gritty, I got my my case uh, from Radio Shack. They actually had <clears throat> this one with the uh, the dock. I'm sorry, with the um, ooh, a little ooh, area. So I can watch, when I watch TV, I like to uh, <laughs> set the phone down like this and this and you know. Uh, that's what the uh, the sling player is for, and they they put the screen protector on for me, cause I just didn't feel like doing it. Yeah. So again, I'm going through. 
Ah. HTC, remember you were able to go all the way around by just going like this here? You can't do that. Uh, you literally have to go, you can see right there, as I'm scrolling, that blue line at the bottom right there. You cannot go all the way around. Ah, sucks. But, I don't know, I thought that was a cool feature, seeing that thing twirl. But anyway, back to this. Uh, I, I put a lot of apps on here so far. And in order to uh, to navigate, you can see what I'm doing right now. It's just basically that. You know, you, you can go around in circles <laughs> in terms of the the apps. And then, it'll, see, it jumps to widgets. Uh, let me go back. Actually, this doesn't need charging. Why do I have this on the charger? Take this back. The battery life really I haven't been able to test it uh, compared to HTC. Uh, I, I think mine's drained in like three hours, only because that I was downloading a lot of, as you can see, I was in down, downloading a lot of apps today, trying to get this thing. So I was using my Wi-Fi. My Wi-Fi was on, and you can see that I downloaded quite a few apps already. <laughs> so uh, I haven't really been able to test uh, the, the battery life on here yet. And I guess I'll put that on my third video. I'm trying to keep the, the videos down to a minimum since the 30 minute, 27 minute video I was doing. Yeah, quite long, so I'm trying to keep everything short. Short and fast. But still funny, in a way. So, uh, what I did notice also, uh, the camera. The camera on here is actually uh, pretty good. It's really good. It's just that the, the 1080 um, has 1080p recording. And the camera itself has pretty cool features. Uh, let me see if I can get... You do have the option to turn flash on and off. Uh, scrolling through the options. There's different types of camera settings you, you have on here. I don't know if you can see it. Let me see if I can zoom in better. There we go. There's single shot, smile shot, beauty, panamera, and action shot, and cartoon. The cartoon is actually pretty cool literally turns everything into a cartoon. Um, let me see what other features they have on here. You can leave chain. The, you can adjust the fur. Why is it not coming on? There you go. Yeah, I know you can adjust the f fineness of it. You can also err. Go back. Go back. Go back. What I thought was pretty cool is the zoom in, zoom out option. You can use the volume up, volume down. And if you watch carefully, it's already zoomed in. Oh, that's a picture of me. Oh, no, 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 uh, uh. All right, we're back on the camera. Okay. So I'm not sure if you can see much of it, but you'll see. Look at that. Look at your bottom left. See me hitting the volume up key, and you see that Boost Mobile box getting bigger and bigger. Uh, and then I'm going to hit the volume down, so you can see it zoom in, zoom out. Actually, I'm doing this one-handed while holding the HTC phone. Uh, go figure. But that, that's a that's a cool that's a cool feature. Um, honestly, I, I don't see much of a difference yet. Again, yet because I just got the phone. The layout is is obviously different. That that's that's pretty cool. But again, the big thing I noticed is that it didn't come with flash. And then, as stated in my uh, previous um, section, it, it it tends to suck when you don't have flash. And I'm not sure what some of you use flash for. But you know, it's good to have. Let's see if I go under. Settings, so I can show you something. Ah, here we go. Storage. It's weird how this is uh, kind of like laid out because you have your device memory, which is just under two gigs, but you also have your I believe it's called USB storage, which is basically things that are on the phone itself. And of course, I have my SD card in it. Ooh, I still got nine gigs available, uh, which I think is pretty cool. So you know, a little under what twenty-eight gigs, twenty-nine gigs, which is pretty cool. 
Uh, trying to find anything. Oh, the security. Security does have, you got your screen, screen lock where you can slide. Uh, you can do face unlock, you can do patter, pin, or just simply put a password in. Um, in order to do it. I tried to do uh, Wi-Fi tethering with, uh, what's that thing called, Foxfy. Uh, it installed on here. It The Wi-Fi actually signal came up. It just didn't connect. And again, when I get time to actually really play around with this phone, I will definitely show you and let you know uh, as to whether Wi-Fi tethering can be uh, enabled. I, I try also with my the way I normally did it, which was um, Tether Pro. Uh, check what I'm talking about. Which is right there. Easy Tether Pro. Uh, I'm gonna try to see if I can get that working. I and I'll probably go over that with the uh, the second video. I know. Actually, this will be the third video. Wow. Uh, honestly, guys. I mean, other than this, I. I really haven't found a difference. I've been actually busy installing so many things. I thought one cool thing that it does have, it has what's called like a, it comes with, the, with this, this app right here. It's called Video Maker. So if I take like a, a video such as myself, actually let's do that right now. I'm going to go to, switch that over to video. And I'm going to record myself in the front. Zoom in. I'm going to do a uh, long video. And I want to do self-recording, which will basically move it to me. So you see me, which is awkward. Okay. So I'm going to record. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Look, me, blah, blah, blah. I don't know if you can see this, actually, but I'm wearing Eagles gear. That's right. Fly, Eagles, fly. All right, and I'm going to stop right now. It's going to save. And I'm assuming, this is my first time doing this, by the way. I'm assuming if I go to, uh, what's that app called? All right, go back to the app. Video, video, video maker. I'm assuming only if I go to video maker, new project, and I'm looking for the media I just put on here. Give me a second. All right. That's not me. That's not me. Ooh. Ah, here we go. We'll use this theme. Apply. There's the video that I just did. All right. What the heck? Hold on. Connect to Wi-Fi. But but no no no. Oh God no. Go back. Cancel. Okay, it says drag and drop files here. Okay, so I guess I take this and I drag it here. Ah, now we're getting somewhere. The movie theme, and I'm going to hit... Ooh, I have the option to do other videos. Put some music on? I can do that? No. Well, I'm going to hit done. Uh, you do have, oh, okay, I see what you're saying. <clears throat> you can trim the, the video, if I can try to do this right. Here, let me put this down so I can do this. Oh, that's awesome. I'll put me, put my name on it. Oh, okay. Adding widgets. Uh, that's pretty actually you know what let me just show you real quick that's actually not hard and again once you go here you select widgets and it, it'll even tell you hold down in order to um, if you want to place it somewhere 
I like if you can see that that it has like um like you know where you can pinpoint where you want it to to land or map on the screen. That's what those those plus arrows that you'll see on the phone if you d decide to get it. And of course, in order to remove it, you just hit remove. Another cool thing actually uh, is if you go in here to focus, focus. If you go to apps. Oh, I'm in apps. <laughs> If you go to apps, like say you wanted to uninstall one, uh, all you gotta do, oh, that was, actually, you can't do that one. That one came with the, uh, the phone. One that I installed. Ah, ESPN. Of course, I'll never do this as a guy. But if you drag it, you see that option to uninstall, or you can get app info. But, I thought that was pretty cool. And in this case, uh, app info will actually take you to the, um, the app information where you can move it to the SD card, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I personally use, I think it's called App Two Data for Free, where it moves all your apps that are capable that are um, capable of moving to the uh, SD card. Uh, that app right there. So we're we at 16 minutes on this video. Okay, I think um, that's about it. Uh, I showed you the Flash option where you see uh, Flash can get back on there. Um, uh, man, it's this it's, honestly, if I were to compare phones right now to the HTC, obviously, the, the, in terms of performance, that the S2 is uh, is pretty good. That's not to knock the HTC. HTC has a a good uh, it it has good internal internal memory. It's just that I'm surprised that they only sold the one that has I think a maximum of, of 16 gigs on this phone. I'm sorry, 16, uh, me 16 megabytes, 700 and some odd megabytes of, of RAM, uh, random access memory as opposed to the S2, which has 2 gigs and uh, has a dual dual processor and a core chip built inside. And, and once you have those two, you, you'll notice the difference in performance. Uh, real quick before I, I uh, move on to the next video, which will be released hopefully tomorrow, if you go to uh, the web... I don't know what, uh, you know what, I need to change that anyway. If you go to the web, the web is pretty cool. Um, something a little bit more than just Google. But it, it loads up pretty fast. And actually, I'm going to show you really quick, I'm going to show you um, how it is without Wi-Fi. So let's turn Wi-Fi off. And 4G should be turning on. Okay, negotiating, it should be on, right? There we go, we're negotiating. See the orange green indicating, yep, connection going through. So what I'll do is I'll see how how can we browse online with 4G, 4G, 4G. Uh, actually, what I'm going to do is go to speed test right now. I promised it earlier. No, I don't want to share. Speed test. There you go. Dot net. Okay, I'm going to install it. Ah, there's my email. Accept. See how fast it can download. Ah, uh, three meg. Well, that's that's not bad. Three megs. Okay, we're going to open up. Okay, do you agree to the terms? Yes, I agree. And we're going to begin test. As you can see, I'm on a 4G network. And... What? Wow. Okay, you guys are seeing this and I'm seeing this, so I knew this is crazy. Wow. Oh, wow. 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 Hold on. Let me put that back on there. You got to be freaking kidding me. Seven megs down, one up? Huh? 
I'm not using Wi-Fi. My, wow, actually, my Wi-Fi is not... My Wi-Fi is 30, 30 megs. This is... Wow, so wow. That's pretty... Uh, that's pretty good. I mean, you guys saw that live. Seven down, one up. wonder how long that'll last. Uh... Oh, wow, so I mean we did that. Let me uh let's let's turn off 4G and see what the speed test is with uh 3G. But that is that's pretty that's pretty good. Oh. Uh, Alright, so we're on 3G now. Uh, let me look for a speed test again. There you go, speedtest.net. And Let's restart the test now with 3G. There we go. So 3G. Just under a meg. It's probably going to do that. Yeah, that's what I figured. Yeah, so you got, like, you know, like one meg. 0.5 up. Uh, it's still going. Oh, wow, this this uh, video is going to be longer. Oh, you bastard. Still going. Yeah, so about 4.4 4 up, 1 down. That's not bad. I'm, I'm real quick, and I'm actually going 21 minutes into this video. Uh, I'm going to do the quadrant test. I know that's what everybody wanted to see. And... Wait for the 4G to go on. While we're waiting for that, get the Google Play Store up open. Okay. I don't think I hit that. There we go. I'm doing this with one hand. This is awesome. Quadrant. Oh my god. Wow. There you go. I know there's different types. Uh, seven gigs ain't looking too good. Or seven megs ain't looking too good right now. I don't think I hit search. That's why. Let me try that again. Quad. The disadvantage of having. There you go. Okay. I think a lot of people use. Okay, here we go. So we're gonna do. We're gonna install this real quick. What's gonna suck is that it's gonna compare it to like the S3 and you know the iPhone 4S, and obviously it's not gonna be as good. At least I don't think. Let's see, okay. Uh, let's do a full. Benchmark. All right. While it's doing its test, I'm gonna pause it right here, and we'll get the results, and then I'll end this video for now. And here's the final result. So, HTC One. Uh, you got the Motorola, Samsung tablet, Galaxy Nexus. Wow, that is really close. Well, oh, turn that back on. That's actually not bad. HTC Desire, the Nexus, better than the LG. Wow. So I got a quadrant score of 25. Wow, 25,104. So that's not bad. It's pretty good, actually. But geez, look at the HTC One X. <laughs> Holy smokes. Uh, so basically, that'll end it for now. Now I'm signing off, Milt Nificent. Uh, subscribe, and again, I am giving away, just like uh, Knoxville is, he's giving away his HTC 4G design. I'm also giving away mine. Um, all you gotta do... <laughs> Actually, it's gonna be random. I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, basically just, just... As long as you subscribe on my page, subscribe on my Facebook page. I'm thinking of a number that I'd like to get to. So 
if you if, if it gets to the number that I'm looking at on my Facebook page in terms of uh, people on there and you become that number in my head you'll definitely get the HDC 4G design um, I will all you got to do is like my page www.facebook.com slash miltonificent1984 all together um, again just, just subscribe to my page go on there and again, when it gets that number, I'm going to send you on your Facebook page and say, hey, look, you won. The ACC design is in great condition. I always keep my, my phones in, um, in a nice case. Um, and I usually put a phone case over it, a phone case, a phone cover over it so it doesn't get any scratches. So it's pretty much in main condition. There's no catch to this. Um, you know, it's just me giving back to, to the people that, you know, are diehard Die hard, but are fans of what I do uh, in terms of the instrument, 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 blah, 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 the instrumental uh, music uh, that, that I do, uh, and, and also the reviews that I do. So, uh, and I know you're laughing right now because I'm muffled, but whatever. So, uh, with that said and done, signing off. If you want the ATC 4G design? Subscribe. Not on the YouTube, but my Facebook page. Uh, I'll also leave that on the link below. And if you want the Motorola i9, <laughs> nah, I'm not giving away. That's uh, that's classic. So, uh, but for now, signing off. Until next time, when I really get in depth with this phone in terms of the camera, I'll do some comparisons with uh, with other people's phones, so you can see the uh, the, the front-facing camera tested out with other phones. Uh, Plenty more. I just wanted you to see the basics of the phone, what it offers, and et cetera, et cetera. So, uh, signing off, Milton Nificent. See you later.